And here's something I got for Ed to play with. Nothing special, just an old computer. Um, has your, you know, drives for your old floppy disks. Five and a quarter, I think they were. On off switch. And the cover's just loosely on there at the moment. That's with the cover off. As you can see, it's missing its overly sized hard drive. Um, there's electrical wires there for it, but there is no ribbon cable or anything. Who knows if it even had one? But that uh, probably did. But yeah, not much to really show on one of these. I think that's the power supply, and that <laughs> this whole thing is the power supply, pretty much. I think. Um, I don't know. I figured people like Ed and UXW Bill would be interested in something like this, so I'll give it to Ed to go over properly. And um, yeah, so check out Aussie Fifty's site. Eventually he will get this and get a video up of it, I'd say. You just unscrew all these and the um, motherboard comes out. If that's what you called it on something this old. <laughs> well, there we go. You just carefully unplug the power supply and the floppy drives and this thing just slides out. Um, there's nothing plugged in those front things as far as I know. Very simple, primitive. I don't know if it's missing much. I have no idea. It's just the way it was given to me. And, um, yeah. All I can tell you is a lot of these little chips say 1979 on them. I wonder if they're classed as the processor. <laughs> I know nothing about stuff that's older than me when it comes to computers. So, yeah. Isn't it funny the way one label says made in Hong Kong and the other label says made in USA? Fascinating. Maybe this part was only made in Hong Kong. Maybe the sticker was only made in USA. Hmm.